Hi there, and welcome back to another Bob Blast. I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is all about, we'll call it childhood memories. I was going through an old bookstore and looking at magazines for some collage materials, and I found this <laughs> beginner stamp guide. I said, this is a cool old book. I mean, it has stamps in it and everything. You remember doing that as a kid? I didn't. Anyway, it was just so beautiful that I couldn't tear it up for collages, so I just had it sitting here on my table and thinking about memories. Speaking of memories, I was thinking about the candy that I don't eat anymore, but it sure does taste great. It was the Good and Plenty box. It has licorice in it. I love licorice. <laughs> and I decided to try to use those colors in a painting. I would have never have used those colors, pink and black and white, but I wanted to see if I could challenge myself today. So this is the first painting I did. It's pretty conservative. It's just it's the same colors as Good and Plenty Candy. I switched it around to make it more of a fun title. Alrighty, so speaking of childhood memories, my dad smoked a cigar, you know, and so and on Sunday afternoons they'd sit around and he'd have a cigar and they'd have a brandy or something like that, even down to a Zippo. And I was a little kid and I was just looking at the fire and the ashes and this, this Stuben ashtray, glass all over the place. I was so fascinated by that. Of course, uh, I like the aroma of it too. Another thing a lot of people don't know about me is I love circus stuff. And so I, I also do a lot of childhood memories of going to the circus all the time. Now, that's the childhood stuff. Where's it gonna lead me? Well, I'm gonna stick with this color scheme, okay? This pink and the black and the white. And I'm going to work on a larger canvas. You see, I got looser and looser and looser as I kept doing this. And now this will be a really loose one. So I have the uh, composition in mind. I have the colors. Let's get started. So, starting very conservatively and getting looser as I progress along more paintings. And finally I said, oh, I really have to get loose now. And I started more. This was starting to intrigue me to the point where I think I'm gonna make this, this whole color scheme, which I normally would never use, work. So we get to see it happening at the same time. It's either gonna work or it's not gonna work. So you get to do this live. Well, here I have a masterpiece canvas. It's a pro canvas. So it's 15 inches by uh, 24 inches. I've already started. I've already started put down a base. So this is where, where I, I stopped after I put the base down. Let's get started. I have my colors, which is primary magenta, Holbein's primary magenta. I have my luminous opera, another beautiful Holbein color. I have some black, I have some white, and I have some glue. This is my gel medium. Gel medium, gloss medium. Everybody makes a good gel medium. It's strictly a glue. And I have big brushes, big brushes. So the first thing I wanna do to get started is let's put some collage materials in here. And the composition, by the way, is gonna be floating, floating. You know, I think there will no, be no drop shadows or anything like that. So these are just be graphic design pieces, all right? So that's my collage paper, just tissue paper, nothing really fancy. I make up my own. I use black tissue paper and wrapping paper. So since this is all organic, I'm gonna make sure everything's round. I'm, I don't have any square patterns in this or 90, 90 degrees of anything, all right? So here we go. And I'm gonna almost shock myself. That's what I wanna do. Here's the glue, this is my gel medium. Again, this will be like objects floating in space. All right, we'll see where this goes. I'm gonna put a lot of glue on here. Lots of glue, lots of glue. Put it down. Great. I hope this isn't too boring. Sometimes <laughs> these things, you just sit around and watch people make things. You should be in your studio making things. <laughs> put one up in here. Really strong graphics, very dramatic. That's what I like on this one. This is really basically, I'm gonna do something I've never seen myself ever having done before. So we have another shape in here. I don't mind the wrinkles, but if you do mind the wrinkles, you just take one of these rubber silicone type of squeegees and you can just get rid of all the bubbles. Makes it nice and flat. Here's another one. 
These are wonderful tools, the rubber tools. I think they're silicone. Nothing sticks to it, so all this glue just peels off after it dries. So that's that stuff. Let me try a couple more pieces in here. Haphazards. I love this. It's pretty busy. this on top of it. Whoa. Whoa. All right. All right. Okay, enough of that messing around. Right, one more. Right in here. Yeah. I don't use scissors. They won't let me use sharp things. All right. And just a couple of these, these dots. Can't help it. Got to do a couple dots. Maybe even up in here. Ooh, up in here. Get rid of that black hole. Ooh, yeah. What I do here is I just don't use any resistance. When I have an idea, I just do it. It'll either be the right decision or the wrong decision. And I don't know until the very end of this painting. I keep stressing to enjoy each process, every part of it. I know it's overused, but it's, it's that journey that you're taking. For me, I enjoy that so much. I enjoy painting. That's why I like to say, you don't have to know how to paint, you just have to love to paint. Okay, so that's enough of that, all right? Next thing I'm gonna do is start the colors. Lots of white. This is my white. go and some black oh boy this black happens to be black gesso yeah I use a lot of it big brush this is a big made in Italy but that's cool isn't it great ready to go put a lot of white on my brush and I put those colors in here Grumbling. Wow. The whole idea here also today is to do something I've never seen myself ever having done before. I almost want to shock myself. Whoa. Lightning, that was just too dark. I don't want to go through a dark phase. And paint all over. Don't stay in one place too long. I think this is too dark. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna lighten up the sides more. Yeah. Well, those colors. So you have a very limited palette. When you do that with a limited palette, you actually have more opportunities, more challenges. <laughs> Look at this color. Whoa! This is that opera. <laughs> Whew, that's crazy. Oh, let's, let's put some attention over here. Look at these shapes. It's like floating in space. Wow. Wow. So the idea came from candy bars as a child. <laughs> and, uh, I really like that candy, so <laughs> I don't have it anymore that much. But that's where I wanted to go. I need to have a focal point right in here. It wants to be right in here. Yeah, pure white. Whoa. And over here. Well, I can't wait to stop and turn this around and see it from different angles. I'm gonna do it right now. We all get to see it from different angles at the same time. Uh, there's no way I'm gonna finish this right now, but it's a great beginning. That's how I start, beginning-wise. Maybe somewhat conservative, build it up, start with those colors, like you saw here. I got looser and looser and more confidence in the, in the colors. And then I've decided this is just gonna be a, a fun way of approaching another series of paintings from candy bars 
You know those penny candy bar uh, stores that are out there right now all over the place at the tourist spots? And so buy a whole bunch of candy bars, eat them, and paint them. Hey, thanks a lot for watching this Bob Blast. This was fun to do. Just crazy. I hope you people have a great, great week this week. And I'll see you on the next Bob Blast. Hi there, I'm Bob Burridge, and this is all about date night with Bob. We just got finished doing one. See the paintings behind me? This is a two hour kind of a Zoom painting workshop is what it is. And we were painting for two hours. You can either do it along with me or you can sit back and have a, an adult beverage and watch at the same time. This is called a fun thing we're gonna be doing. We've done them already, so it's called date night with Bob. And don't you want to do that on a, whatever nights we have? Check out the schedule. It's right behind me. And we're going to be painting like crazy. I'll see you on Date Night with Bob.